This procedure uses a solvent to remove surface coatings. This procedure can be used for spot removal or overall coating removal of conformal coatings and solder resists. Approved solvents may be used to remove specific soluble type coatings on a spot basis by brushing or swabbing the local area with the controlled application of solvent until the area is free of the coating material. If warranted, all the soluble type coating can be removed by immersing and brushing the entire printed board or printed board assembly. To determine the appropriate coating removal procedure, the coating must first be identified. Coating removal may require the use of one or more methods. Determine on a module-by-module -module basis the hazards to components by short-term immersion in the removal solvents. If chloride-based or other harsh solvents are used, extreme care must be exercised to prevent damage to the base material, component parts, plated through holes, and solder joints. Some solvent coating removal methods can cause expansion or swelling of the baseboard material that can degrade the printed board or printed board assembly. Under no circumstances should these solvents be used except in a closely controlled process. It is recommended that the printed board or printed board assembly be inspected to ensure that no damage has occurred. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is advanced. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. To complete this procedure, you will need the following tools and materials. Cleaning brushes. These disposable brushes are primarily used with solvents for cleaning. Coating remover pen. This is used when you need to remove small areas of silicone, acrylic, and urethane coatings from circuit boards. Foam swabs. These disposable swabs are ideal for absorbing cleaning solvents and for applying color agents and epoxies. High temperature tape discs. These high temperature tape discs are made of polyamide film with a silicon adhesive that will not leave a residue when removed. They come in a variety of sizes and are used for a wide range of applications, including temporarily holding small items in position. Knife. This is a must-have tool used for precise cutting, scraping, and trimming. Mixing picks. These unique mixing sticks have a paddle shape on one end for mixing and a sharpened pick on the opposite end for dispensing a small amount of epoxy. The procedure follows. Local spot removal. Step 1. Apply high temperature tape to outline the area where the coating needs to be removed. Dip the end of a foam swab in stripping solution and apply a small amount of the coating to be removed. Since various substances may be used as coatings, the time required for a given coating to dissolve or soften will vary. Reapply the solvent several times as most solvents evaporate rapidly. Step 2. Rub the treated surface carefully with a brush or wood stick to dislodge the coating. A wedge-shaped applicator tip knife or heated blade may be effective in removing some coatings, particularly polyurethanes. Step 3. Neutralize or clean the stripped area and properly dry. Overall Removal Step 1. A single step for removal of all the coating may be completed by providing a continuous flow of solvent. Step 2. Alternately, process the board in a series of tanks containing mild solvent, starting with a high contamination tank and progressing sequentially to a final, fresh solvent tank. If you need further help and prefer to send your circuit boards out for repair or rework, contact Circuit Technology Center. If you wish to purchase the tools and materials needed to complete this procedure at your facility, contact Circuit Medic.